you have perfect eyebrows. <laughs> but, how about, no, here we go. This, this is the clincher. You have an uncontrollable desire to punch a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dilemmas. Goodness. I don't know. Perfect eyebrows. <laughs> like, eyebrows are one of those ugly things on your face you don't notice. But imagine how perfect they could be. If you had perfect <laughs> eyebrows, everyone would notice them. It's uncontrollable desire, so that means that you can't control it. So that means you will punch somebody. Wait a minute, is it like punch multiple times or just punch once? So I would just go around murdering babies? I would not press that button. Alright, first off, Andrew wrote this question, or some psycho. <laughs> Alright. Did you just say, or some psycho? Yes. <laughs> you nugget. <laughs> you may kill any person you want at any time <laughs> by thinking about it. No one will ever know it was you, unless you confess. And even then, they probably won't believe you. The bad part is you must kill at least one person a week or else you will die. Oh. I would... Oh, would I do that? I would do that. Oh, yeah, you this is for Dylan. People, you have one... Like, you have people that you would line up to kill once a week so you don't die. Because, <laughs> it, like, if when you run out of people, you're gonna die. Would you, would you press the button, Dylan? I would not, because once not. you're going to have people, that's, you could no, That's die. the wrong answer, okay? Because this is, first of all, you could save, I, I'm, think, I'm thinking about unselfish reasons here. You could save so many people, stop like, terrorist attacks. If, if consider if you were in World War II time, boom, Hitler's dead. Consider, you know, a few years ago, boom, Osama bin Laden's dead. Then you're doing a civic duty. What happens if you go on vacation, though? You forget. <laughs> oh, if I forgot, is that something you could I forget just, like, about? Died while while like sitting next to a pool. No, you're you're just playing Minecraft, and all of a sudden you drop dead because you forgot. You can change clothes on will, just instantly. <laughs> but they will always be inside out. <laughs> I can find like a changing room or whatever else and just That's true, put it yeah. back. So it's not yeah. like it's a permanent thing. So definitely press the button. You would just like go to the thrift store, get some crappy old worn out shirt, turn it into like some thousand dollar suit, sell it, then do the same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you were just some expert sewer or something, you could change anything into anything, but you can just do it with your mind. I That's like how all Andrew's answers revolve around getting lots and lots of money. <laughs> Everyone you have ever had a crush on falls in love with you. Ooh. But. So it happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. But they try to kill each other the moment they know that other people oh, are in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be Hunger Games all over again, but instead of food, it's Andrew. <laughs> Unless they are also cannibals, which would be terrifying. You become the smartest man in the world. Or woman. Mm -hmm. Happened already. But. You just said you were retarded a few questions ago. <laughs> Valid point. Valid point. But everyone else literally has no brain. <laughs> Wait, that means they're all dead. That means they're dead. So, you become the smartest man in the world, but everyone else is dead. No, but think about what you can do with all those bodies lying around. Oh, okay, I'm skipping this. I will not. I will not. <laughs> I, what would you do, Andrew? Think and, about all you could do with all those bodies. He's thinking, I think like, this is why he heart asked heart. me. I'm starting to realize. Yes. All right. We're ending that there. We're done. Because Dawson Dill would be like, no, and I'm like, look at all the bodies. Until next time, folks. What could you do with them? Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies.